welcome back uh, so if you watched the last video we got the motor transmission in it still need to work on the transmission mount so uh, I've got that welded up yesterday and I'm test fitted it this morning and uh, it's gonna work but in order to get the mount on the transmission the way I want it uh, I've got to pull the transmission back out of the car and I just spent all the time this morning getting the car up on car ramps so I could test it so I think we're gonna shift gears while I've got it jacked up on the car ramps we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the intercooler out the radiator came in yesterday so I've got that and uh, we'll get this front end back on here get the fender back on and the front grill and all that happy stuff and then we'll figure out how to mount our intercooler and the radiator and hopefully still have enough room since I've got the new Corvette accessories that give me an extra inch so uh, last time I had it together I was about an inch too short and everything so uh, hopefully this all goes together because I really want this thing to run cool when it's together and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, you know, if you're like me and you want to see if this thing goes straight when it's finished, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll keep at it, and eventually we'll have this thing on the street and at the drag strip, hopefully. So uh, thanks for watching, we'll get at it. All right, so got the front fenders back on, got the grill in. I'm kind of running out of room here. That's about as far as I can get in the little garage. But uh, so the hope is to be able to fit a intercooler a turbo right there intercooler right here somewhere and then radiator along this side and then uh, so my plan is to push the radiator as far to the driver's side as I can so I can hopefully leave a air opening right here for the turbo and you know the big thing is gonna be the height because I think my radiator is 19 inches tall so it definitely needs to go down a little bit past you know past my lower bar there and I don't know I might have had to cut this which kind of stinks but I might not have a choice uh, we'll have to see how thick the intercooler is but I'm pretty sure the intercooler will go here that means the radiator needs to go like right here and I don't think I can get enough tilt on it to get it to clear because you know I still have to have my hot side pipes come this way over here to the turbo and I have to dodge my coolant lines here and here so I'm not sure but uh we'll get uh, some stuff out and get the test fitting and see how it all goes together so got my radiator I went with the uh, old Speedway Motors got this off Amazon it's a 19 by 31 inch LS swap radiator is uh, 193 bucks on Amazon, so I uh, figured that was a good deal. So we'll get it open, and then we'll go test fit in the car and see how, see if it's not going to fit, but see what we have to do to make it fit. So it's packaged nice, which is kind of cool. It's uh, got the cardboard over the radiator, which is nice. So we'll just leave that on until we get it fitted. So now we just got to figure out how to fit this big boy in the car. All right, so we've got the intercooler out, which is just a little, it's a three inch intercooler from VS Racing. Came with the Denma kit and then uh, I got this, the radiator, the 19 by 31, which you can see it's too tall and I really don't have enough room to fit the intercooler and the radiator with my bar. So I guess I should have probably waited to make that. So, and it's a shame cause I can't just section it cause uh, you know, all this is already a radius is turning. So I'm gonna go cut it off here and here. And then I may reuse my 90s and just spin them around so they're going down and out. And then, I don't know if you can visualize, so it'll come down and out and then weld them. And then I can weld a bar up to this guy and up to this guy that would be out of the way. And then once I get all this fit and adjusted, I can come in and weld me another crossbar 
around just for that it's strength but uh i don't know if that's gonna look tacky or not but uh i don't even know if it's gonna work but i know this radiator needs to go down about four inches and uh there's just no way i can fit the radiator fans and intercooler with that bar out so far so probably should have thought more <laughs> definitely should have thought more about that when i was bending that up but i just kind of made it match what was there and uh, i was running a smaller radiator last time but it was you know did have some overheating issues on really hot days and we don't want that you know we want to be able to drive it when we will we'll drive it when we want to drive it whether it's hot raining whatever we're going to try to drive it so uh anyway let me get this saws on we'll get those bars cut and see if i regret my decision so really good news i got the first one cut and there was no shift on the frame or nothing so that's good but sometimes you know when you put stuff together and it's all in a bind your stuff will do weird things so i guess that's good i don't know i'm not a chassis guy i just learn it as i go but i'm glad it didn't move i've cut stuff before where it was under tension and it popped so happy times all right so we got plenty of room for stuff now <laughs> So uh, I'm going to go cut this bar that I just cut off down and then I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking about doing. And then I'll probably grind it and get it all tacked up and then see how everything fits. And then if it fits great and if it doesn't and it looks really tacky, we'll probably do something else. But uh, we'll see. All right. So I got those bars cut, got them flipped and welded back on so you can kind of see how they or just kind of going out which pretty sure i'm just gonna keep it that way uh they'll let me mount the bumper to them fairly easy gives me more room for a radiator and intercooler and i can mount the turbo off this one and i can also give me i got some more one inch bar so i'll go one inch bar from here to here for this mount and that'll keep everything out to the side and out of the way which is good and then uh i can come across here to there I can bend up some one inch for the radiator mount and the intercooler mount and uh, I'll eventually once I get these in here I'll eventually make it so it's removable somewhere and that way I can still just take off this so when I pull the motor in and out it'll be easy for me but yeah so uh, I don't know maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing thing but uh I think it's gonna work and it's gonna save me some time from not having to bend bars and stuff. So I think I'll go go with it. I think I'll go go cut these bars next and get my fender height set. And that'll have to let me know how low I need to drop the radiator. And then we'll make some mounts. Probably bend a little one inch too to go around for the intercooler and the radiator. And see how we're looking. All right, so we're gonna get ready to cut the bar to support the front fenders here. But before we do that, I want to get all these bolted in for real and this side bolted in for real too and uh all right so i've got my first bar measured up and i've got it notched for the big tube down at the bottom but i don't have a one inch hole saw that'll fit this so i have this one that i could hand drill so i might see how that goes all right so they didn't go as bad as i thought so Got a big notch on that end for the inch and five eighths too. Let's go, go to and this is the one inch notch so you can see fits it nice and good. So let's get them wire wheeled and then we'll try to get it tacked in place. All right, so here's what I was talking about just so you can see it. So I got those bars cut and it supports the front here. It'll support the radiator support. And I got that one cut. Uh, everything looks pretty decent. Uh, bars level. So I don't think it's hard to tell because I can't get far enough away and look at it. And I really don't want to weld this in yet because I have to pull it out, pull the motor out. And I want this to come out so I don't have to lift straight up. So I think the next plan is to figure out the intercooler. All right. So the FedEx man just showed up and got my fans. So these are the early 90s or late 90s Ford Contour vans. And I just bought... I didn't feel like digging in the junkyard, so I just got to set off Rock Auto. These were $105, I think, and they supposedly move 3,500 CFM on high, so they are two-speed. And I went ahead and bought a DCC controller that's uh, in the mail, 
and what it does is you can plug it all in and it'll come on low at 185 degrees and then switch to high at 195 so we'll see hopefully they fit this last i'm glad they're here because now i can go ahead and make sure i got enough space before i try to run my hot side so we're gonna probably get these things welded up a little bit better because the intercooler and the radiator and the fans weigh quite a bit so we'll get those welded up decent not perfect but i'm not gonna do the bottoms i don't feel like getting on the ground but i'll do the top half and that's to support the weight and then uh, we'll have to get these guys tacked in just so they don't move and then we'll work on hanging the intercooler probably off this bar and then we'll figure out a bottom bar that'll support both the radiator and the intercooler so uh yeah and then uh, eventually we'll have to make some mounts and stuff for the fans to go on the radiator but I'm not too worried about that i can just space it with the cardboard on it to get the spacing right and it'll do what i need it to do for today because i want to try to get all this stuff sorted out and mocked up and then next week hopefully we can get it back off the car ramps pull the motor and transmission do all the flywheel stuff and get the motor in for good which is going to take a while because i got a lot of holes to weld up but uh that's a goal anyway so we'll try to get this part sorted out today which this is a lot of this is time consuming stuff because you have to think about stuff and sometimes i think slow but uh we'll get back at it all right so we got the ovs racing turbo out did some eyeballing on where i think it's gonna go then did some eyeballing on where i think the air cooler needs to go so i've got one tab welded on so we'll get it bolted on and get the other tab tacked just so i know it'll fit perfect and then we'll uh get this other tab welded on this will get trimmed down it's hot right now just welded it but i will come in with the grinder and trim this down once i'm happy with it and then uh, we'll get the intercooler hanging and then the plan is to do a bottom bar somehow that'll hopefully support both the radiator and the intercooler but i don't know if i can just because you know it's so much taller than that so uh yeah we'll see all right got the second tab welded in uh gotta let this stuff cool off it's freaking hot and uh don't want any more blisters so we'll let this cool off for a few minutes and then we'll get this intercooler mounted up and then see what kind of bottom bar we need to kind of share if possible between the radiator and the intercooler but uh yeah so far pretty happy with the progress really interesting to see how much room we still have for the radiator and the fan setup and uh we'll go from there all right so got the intercooler in so you can see how they got them out. I left the tabs long, which I was kind of hoping I could use them for the radiator, which I think I could if I put the radiator here. The problem we have, we have a little bit of clearance everywhere. So that's good. But really don't have a home for the turbo because I was hoping to put it like right here. But I need the radiator to go that way a few inches, which I can. I'll just have to redo this side which i think i'm going to do that just so i can shift everything down a few inches because i kind of need to move this bar too if you look it'd be kind of hard to get an intercooler discharge pipe on there so i'm thinking i'm going to think before i do any cutting but i'm thinking we're going to get rid of this bar all together and just do something else there and I don't know yet because I definitely if I want to put the turbo here the radiator's got to shift the radiator kind of needs to stay even with the intercooler here you know I'd like the end tank to be here but if we do that that's you know five and a half inches that I need to go this way which would work I just got to redo that bar and this bar which I think is probably worth it uh, I just got to think how I want to hook this up especially because right now it's like really good and the fender's nice It's where I want it. So I don't want to lose This orientation, but I think maybe I can come from here To a bar since I'm not putting turbo or nothing here. I just got to make sure I go In far enough not to interfere with the, the radiator 
Now if I'm going to come almost all the way over, then I need to make sure Yeah, food for thought also. So, yeah, let me think. We'll come up with something, but pretty happy with this side. Happy with the intercooler. Fans are going to fit, so this should give me enough room. This guy will just come across the top here and hook up with this guy, and we'll have the turbo like right here. Preferably right here. You know, we'll have it. So, we'll have this guy. Yeah, so the plan for the hot side is we'll have this guy come out and we'll turn him a little sharper and he can just come across right here above everything and then hook up right here and we'll have the turbo sitting right here somewhere once we have this out of the way. So, yeah, I'm going to do some thinking before I do any more cutting because I really don't want to redo stuff again. But uh, that's part of it. And we'll trim the grill a little bit right down there and right down there so we'll have plenty of intercooler but yeah this is big progress because once you get this stuff figured out and turbo mount figured out you know that's big stuff off the plate so then it's just becomes a lot of little stuff that we have to knock out before we can start driving so we'll get back at it all right so i think the plan so i got this guy cut and notched We'll go weld him there to there, like so. So you can see he'll go there and there. That should give me my five inches to get my thing over. Should still clear the tire and it'll hold everything in place. So uh, I gotta get that wire wheeled to get rid of the paint. Then we'll cut that one, weld this one in, then we'll cut this one off and then we'll get back to test fitting. All right, so progress. So got the bar cut off. Uh, Kind of cut it a little crooked, but other than that, so I got my new support bar welded in. And you see the radiator clears it right there. Now let me move the radio over, radiator over like five inches. So now we should have plenty of room for turbo activities here. So uh, I'm going to try to get the turbo hung just so we can kind of see what we're working with. And uh, get the fans back on the radiator once I get it a little more secure. And then figure out what we're gonna do for bottom mounts because i think all right so i uh, just got done test fitting the turbo ended up moving this bar so it was right here so you can kind of see the tack down there so uh it was kind of in the way so i moved it cut the tacks moved it over M my thought was i was going to hang the turbo shoot it down and then 90 into shoot it down and then 90 into the intercooler but I really think I can get it to line up and just do a straight coupler right here, which would be cool. Just blow right into the intercooler. Uh, I have to see, I'm hoping the bolts are the same top and bottom. I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna take the radiator back out, which it fits nice now. So uh, still, we'll have to figure out this hose. That's gonna be kind of awkward. Uh, this one won't be too bad. Uh, and then uh, it fits over here good. It's not touching anything. I just got to figure out what kind of bottom supports I want to mount, make for the radiator and the intercooler. Because you see the radiator hangs down pretty far, but the bumper will cover that, so I'm not too worried. So, yeah, so it's coming along. So let me get this intercooler off and clipped, and then we'll see if my plan will work for just going straight from the turbo into the intercooler and then over here we'll have to be a little careful because we'll have to do a 180 something to come back up and over and it's going to get really crowded with the cold side trying to come and the hot side being there and into the intake so yeah lots of lots of stuff to fit in a little thing because my engine bay is very short like most modern cars have a longer nose so you can have more room for festivities I have to cram everything in, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so got the intercooler swapped around where I wanted it. Got the radiator where I want it. Got that bar redone. So we got that. Last thing we're going to do for this video is get a turbo mount made. So got the VS Racing 78 millimeter Gen 2.5 turbo. So it's going to plan is it's going to sit right here. 
and blows straight into the intercooler. So it'll be front facing, blows right into there. I measured that distance so I know how long I need to make the stand and then I also need to trim some of this to get the turbo to fit there. So the plan is to get the the pipe cut, see if I can get this off without everything falling apart. <laughs> If I can get this off without everything else falling apart, that'll be great. Then I'll trim it. We'll put it back together and try to mount up the turbo and get it tacked in. Uh, if everything falls apart, we'll just probably end the video <laughs> and then we'll pick up on the other side. So, uh, yeah, and then in the next video, if you're following along, next video, we'll do hot side, cold side is the plan. And once we get all that done, we'll blast all this apart, take the motor out for the last time, hopefully and do the flywheel and all that happy stuff and get motor transmission in for good. And then we'll bolt all this thing together and then we'll just have a whole bunch of wiring to do and then a whole bunch of nut and bolt checking and suspension checking. So pretty exciting times. So the end is getting closer. I can actually kind of see light at the end of the tunnel. I don't think it's a train. So pretty excited. So let me get at it and we'll get to cutting some pipe. All right, so we got our one piece cut. So the plan is this guy will just get welded up down here, wherever that needs to go. And then the turbo flange, it'll go underneath it. I'm gonna have some quarter inch. I'll get some quarter inch. And then we'll do that. We'll have that one for one stand. And then I'll probably do another one from here to there. We may or may not do that, just depending. Uh, there's a mosquito landing on my arm. So, because we might just let the hot side support it. My last turbo, I didn't have supported. I just had the, had the hot side, so I'm thinking just this will be enough. But I'm worried about mosquitoes back. And uh, my last turbo, the on three stuff, it was a lot lighter than this VS Racing Turbo. But uh, I think I'll get this welded on good once I know exactly where I need to put it and then get the get it bolted up and we'll see if I feel like it's sturdy or if it's gonna try to fall. You know, cause this ain't the biggest wall, but I think it'll support turbo. And if not, we'll put in a brace, which I can either come from here, you know, by this one or I can come off here like that. So I don't know. We'll uh, decide that. I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to hold this and get it marked where I want it. But uh, before we do that, we need to take this apart and cut that thing. So let me see if I can get that out. And I'll be back. All right. So we didn't have to take it apart. We just quick and dirtied cut that with the cutoff saw. So I'll see if that's enough. I might have to... Might have, needed to come all the way up to here but uh rather check it before i cut too much all right so cut a little more off the bottom and i'm gonna cut this little notch off too and then i think it'll fit so hopefully i'll be able to get a picture of what it's gonna look like we'll see all right so got the turbo out of fit i had to do some more trimming but it fits so uh I'm going to go ahead and get this guy welded up. I've been grinding on it so it'll fit right there. We'll drill a hole through it. Don't worry, it's not me. So we'll drill a hole through it and then we'll get it welded up to the other pipe. And then we'll see how this goes. All right, so I've got my hole drilled. I'll drill it right in the edge so that way it'll fit down in the corners on this on this flange so uh let me get a bolt we'll bolt it up and then you know obviously i'm going to trim this to size once it's happy but uh, i just want to see what i'm working with here and uh we'll get it tacked up to the to the stand the st mount and then we'll try to just set it in place and make sure everything falls in place and then hopefully i can mark it and then we'll get it welded in all right, so I uh, got the turbo fitted up there and stuff, but I uh, really can't mark it by myself. So uh, I'm going to wait till I have some help. So probably get that done tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and end this video off. 
Uh, thanks for everybody that's watching and subscribing. Uh, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you know, it'll be fun to see if this thing ever, you know, like I said earlier, goes down the, the road straight. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I tell my friends the thing that makes my car cool is that I do it all myself. And uh, the thing that keeps my f car from being as cool as it should be is I do it all myself. Uh, some of the stuff would probably look, definitely look better if I farmed it out. But, uh, you know, I enjoy tinkering and, uh, you know, it'll be fun when it's all together and uh, be banging gears and hopefully outrunning some people and getting outran a lot too, because that always happens. But anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, remember, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll talk at you later.